All right, everybody, welcome to the Traveling Gamer. We're gonna be leaving today with Shelly's shop to go to uh, Red Deer to do a swap meet. It's gonna be about two days, I'm pretty excited for it. Um, we're gonna be trying out different mics, different cameras, different, whole bunch of different stuff. I got a whole bunch of gear we're gonna be checking out and we're gonna be going. So what's the Traveling Gamer? It's just me, I'm a gamer and I'm gonna go traveling and I'm gonna vlog that series and it's all gonna be uploaded to you guys. We were expecting better weather, but it uh, decided to put a mountain of snow here, so I don't know how good a swap meet's gonna be in a foot and a half of snow, but we shall see. So uh, yeah, enjoy it, and we're gonna see how it works. You know, it's gonna be interesting working through the different cameras, different mics, different systems, but I think it'll be good. And if we got time, maybe we'll drop a little bit of gaming in here, because eventually that's the end goal, is to be like gaming on like a lake, or gaming on uh, Banff National Park kind of thing. Enjoying the outdoors, bringing a little bit of gaming into it, but overall just getting outside, getting more active, losing the gut, and just having a good time. So yeah, I just uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. All right, we got the bug out message, so we're going. You have everything you need? We'll figure it out. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I got everything I need. Uh, you know, when I get there, I'll figure it out. Well, we loaded up Shelly's shop truck. We're just getting some more oil. You know, and then we're gonna head down to Red Deer for the swap meet. Uh, we're good. I'm pretty excited. We got lots going on. We're gonna be filming for his YouTube channel as well as this channel. It's gonna be a good time, I think. I'm pretty excited. So we're here with Shelly's shop, another YouTube channel. He'll be featured down below. Make sure you hit that him up. Look us up. He's, we're going to a swap meet where? In Red, Red Deer, Alberta, the Westerner uh, Centennial Center or something like that. Yeah, it's a pretty big event. And you just what car stuff? Or is there other stuff there? There is supposed to be really old cars, like antique classic cars. Not so much the vintage. It's really antique and classic cars. But over the last few years, it's really coming up to be more like a, a really big old uh, antique mall. There's a lot of stuff down here. There really is. It's a really good time. If you're into collectibles, it's there. If you're into antiques, it's also there. And I go down there because I like collectibles, antiques, old cars, classic cars. You name it, I'm into it. We got two very different kind of channels. I run the gaming channel, and he does all automotive stuff. Yeah. But I'm a mechanic by trade, and he, yeah, I'm not. <laughs> he's not. So it's like two different things here. But I'm hoping to bring the traveling gamer into more of this kind of stuff. We do have the 62 Studebaker to repair. This guy's always got stuff going on. Crazy J Classic Custom, Works. Classic Works has always got stuff going. These are just people that live by me, and I'm hoping to bring the gaming world into that. We can do a lot of fun stuff traveling around, going to things like this. These guys are always on the go doing things and they know a lot of people. And we got, he's already, Shelly's already got me linked up with some people that got like whole ass like sets that you could film stuff in. It's really cool, yeah. Yeah, like an old timey village and then like a trapper shack and like there's just so much cool stuff. So I'm hoping to bring the traveling gamer into more things like what you do. To yeah. be honest with you. Oh man, whatever. And like, and do collabs like this where we travel and then I can film stuff like this for my own sake and then we can help you out. It's yeah. gonna be cool. We brought some stuff to set up a booth and we're gonna hopefully sell some stuff, but I'm hoping to find some cool antiques to share. I Believe it or not, I'm a big antique guy. I love that kind of stuff. Yeah, man. Well, so, you gotta scrounge, but there's all kinds of good stuff there. I'm and excited. If, if, if you know what you're looking for, you can find it. Like, he's got to dig. Sometimes he got boxes underneath tables. If you've never been to swap meet before, it's just I a never. big, big yard sale with hundreds of vendors. And uh, this one's mostly indoors. There should be some stuff outdoors too, but it's mostly going to be indoors where it's nice and warm. I'm pretty excited, man. I haven't done anything like this. Like the last, you're from Ontario, so you know the 400 market. That's the last time I've been to anything that resembled a swap. And that's not even a swap, it's a hey, market. This is three times the size of the 400 market. Damn, man. Anyway, we're going to cut, cut to, you'll probably see us do some B-roll stuff of loading stuff up and just exploring, man. We're going to be working real hard. Make sure you check out Shelly's shops. He does a lot of stuff with old antique cars and just 
does more. He's not a gamer. If you don't want gaming stuff, check out Shelly's shop. He's got a lot of stuff going yeah, on over there. Really, uh, run into the old classic cars and trucks. I got some viewers, man. There's some yeah. viewers in, in, in our Discord in our channel that are. Even if you don't subscribe, just come on over. Have a gander. Browse my wares to see if you're if you're into it. Yeah, man. All right, we'll catch you guys at the what's it called again? Uh, the uh, this is the early birds. Uh, sorry, the quick times swap meet in Red Deer at the Westerner Pavilion. There we go. <laughs> All right. Just making a quick stop so Shelly's shop can buy a bumper. <laughs> Wouldn't be a road trip to a car show if it wasn't uh, involving getting bumpers in the middle of uh, a town. <laughs> Well, we got all the stuff that we're selling ready to go. This is our buddy's car here. Hoping to sell this. Got a bunch of stuff. It's gonna get busy in here. Chili shop setting up the trailer. All our merchandise ready to go. It's getting busy in here. We'll get into the meetings later. Right, day one's done. We set up. We walked around a lot. Uh, we found some. 50 miles on. Oh my god, man! My joints feel like it. <laughs> as a fat man, man. Oh my god. I'm gonna get my steps in. Dude, that's you for look sure. like a freaking beach model there with some of those people walking around. Man, some guys were gut first into every booth. <laughs> but yeah, it was it. We're all done day one. We're gonna head out to the have some drinks now and hang out, eat some food. Thank God. Yeah. But. Uh, I'm starving. <laughs> so am I. Tomorrow we'll get some stuff going. We'll see what we can get. Shelly Shop's always got something going on, so we'll oh, figure yeah. something out. All right, day two, Shelly Shop at the, the swap meet. We slept in the Scabies Cancer Hotel. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. I kept him up snoring. The lady downstairs coughed and kept me up, so nobody slept. <laughs> but now we got at least nice cars to look at and things to do. It's going to be a good day, I think. We'll get a lot of footage going through today. So yesterday was uh, a bit slower of a day. It was just setup day. We got to walk around, made a few deals. I bought, um, what did I buy? I bought a hat. I bought a hat for my wife. Um, other than that, I don't really have, I haven't seen anything for the 62 Studebaker here. We got to get a different project car. It, it, maybe this summer, it'll be a little easier to get parts for it. I haven't seen anything for Lark Studebakers, nothing. Everything here is pretty much for specific kind of cars and the, the popular cars right square body trucks 55 chevs stuff like that so we're gonna we're gonna mosey around today there's still more vendors showing up and hopefully we find a good deal i think i'm gonna leave with a lot of knickknack stuff and so the shop's already got stuff like uh tires and he's got some signs and a bumper he bought some mufflers as well which are pretty cool so yeah we're just gonna see what we can get done today. We're gonna get some B-roll for you guys of some of the cooler stuff. There's a 
There's a drag car here, which you guys already saw. They want 45K for that. Um, a couple old cars for sale here. Some motorcycles on the other side, some quads. Lots of cool stuff. You can spend a lot of money here, but I'm looking for stuff for my kids and my family. Uh, antiques and stuff like that. And uh, maybe next year when we actually have a real project car. Studebaker's gonna take a lot of work. So we gotta get ourselves a real car that we can work on and have fun with. And uh, there's a few few that I wouldn't mind getting. We'll, we'll see. We'll see them later. These guys. These guys all know each other. And there's posters everywhere of stuff we could buy. But yeah, it's getting starting to get busy in here. People setting up their booths. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, doing this uh, selling stuff is a bit different to me. I'm not used to haggling for prices or really haggling for anything. I'm just used to seeing a price tag and then you buy it. But everybody here haggles for literally everything. And I'm just like, oh, 20 bucks, that's not that bad, I'll buy it. Oh, 50 bucks, that's not bad, I'll buy it. It's pretty fun. Mostly finding it fun to check out the old cars and stuff like this. This is Ivan's stuff, which you guys will see over on Shelly's shop a lot. I'm hoping to get down there this summer and maybe pick myself up a nice old restore. This thing's cool. Check it out. Needless to say, I need some work, but like stuff like this, man, from the 40s, that's right up my aisle. Uh, I, I play this game, Mafia 2. Every Christmas, I sit there, I love driving around in Mafia 2 and cars that look just like this, playing and listening to the radio and just driving through a virtual city in cars like this. And I could do it in real life if I could just afford one of these bad boys. Man, I just, I don't know. Old 40s cars make me so excited. I'm more excited about this than the uh, dragster that you guys saw earlier. There's something about them, man. They just look so cool. I just picture like waking up in the 40s, uh, going to World War II, <laughs> coming back and then driving around in this old beast. Uh, maybe down the road we'll get something like this. Well, we're in the weird lull part of the day where it's like lunchtime and there's literally no one kicking around anymore. But uh, it's been fun. It's just, we, we kind of sold everything. So now we're just kind of sitting here and you're not allowed to leave until four. It's 1.15 in the afternoon and well, we got nothing left to do. So we're just kind of hanging out. I don't know, selling things is weird to me. I've never been on this side of the table. I'm always on the opposite side of the table. So 
feels weird when people are asking like how much do you want for it and you're like i don't know and then you don't want to insult them and you they don't want to insult you and it's this whole weird exchange that i'm not used to but i'm learning a lot from shelly shop and i'm learning a lot from ivan it's been good that's ivan's car by the way he's got some cool stuff we're going to be doing a tour of his lot here in the future uh, just checking out some stuff I, I i can will i will say this being here has really made it so i want to I want to get that Studebaker going, man. I really do. Well, things are starting to wrap up here. Um, it seems like ever, but the weather kind of held everybody back, I think, from this place because a lot of the people, the regulars here, were saying that it's been a very exceptionally slow year, and there's just. The weather we got, we had like this early spring and then it kind of just went backwards and we went right back into winter. So a lot of people don't want to bring out their nice cars. They don't want to drive around with their parts and their trucks and stuff like that. So it seems like this was an exceptionally slow year, um, but it happens again in another two months. So I think we're going to definitely be coming back, hopefully with more confidence to film in public. I, I try to get you guys some cool shots of the cool stuff. Most of it's just, you know, heads and you know, camshafts and stuff like that. It's not very interesting stuff to to most people. The Traveling Gamer is supposed to be just me traveling and experiencing new things like this. So, sorry, somebody wanted to talk about the Tesco clock. So it's just, it's supposed to just be me traveling, the gamer traveling, and then once camping season starts, we're gonna, we're gonna play games in really cool locations. It's kind of hard to play games in the middle of a warehouse with no Wi-Fi and uh, a bunch of people walking around so i'm excited for the next one apparently it's three pavilions big plus an outside section so i think that'd be really cool all the cool stuff we brought we brought this truck or this uh this old car here that's that's one of our friends we brought the trailer dragster well we didn't bring the dragster but it's right beside us dragster they want 45k for which a little overpriced if you ask me but hey i'm not in the dragster market so maybe it's right on price I just thought the duct tape on the front for 45k was a little much. But yeah, we're gonna, me and Shelly Shop will be packing up soon and heading home. So the swap meet's done. Uh, I had a good time. You, so did I. Yeah. Yeah. You, you did good. You made a bunch of stuff. Look, look at all this guy's stuff. We got stuff everywhere. Box of the truck, fenders for days. We got hubcaps, uh, signs. I usually don't like to brag about this, but I have. I'm pretty sure the exact same amount of money in when I when I landed there with too. So <laughs> I didn't have anything to sell, so I'm net zero. Or no, I'm negative. I'm I'm in the negative. I brought stuff home for the kids and the wife. Yeah, and then we got. Husband, <laughs> but no, I had fun. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, it, we're gonna do it again, but we're gonna bring more cameras and have better setups for B-roll and stuff like that. It was just we're testing the waters here yeah. for both his channel and mine. See how um, well we do this. Yeah, I think it worked out well. I think so. Minus my snoring in the hotel room. <laughs> hey, oh, but the lady was, down below was, had cancer, man. Was she was dying. Anti, it was the anti below <laughs> us. Yeah. Anyways, we'll see you guys in the next video of the Traveling Gamer. Don't forget to check out Shelly's shop. Link will be down below. He does a lot of car stuff. Peace. Cheers. <laughs>